would wear them like this. And as you can see, there are holes right here. And that's where I would put my flute. And that is gonna protect me from, and protect others from the coronavirus. <laughs> One of the biggest challenges for having lessons online is we use Zoom, but the delay for the hearing the instrument is not the best quality. So we play at the Pan American Center with uh, thousands of people in, in the stands and um, having that suddenly kind of ripped away from us was something that uh, definitely hit us a lot harder than we expected to. <laughs> First things that we started working on when we were developing first practice or safe practices were the masks. We had a student, she's an engineer student, and she developed the masks for the band. And so this was one of the first things that we started working on. We're developing masks specifically for different instruments. Of course, a lot of them look different. Other safe protocols that we took into practice were hula hoops and they had a six foot radius where we would be able to put them down, stay in our space and visually see where we are socially distancing. <laughs> We had to perform in parking lots with everybody in their car, social distancing. Um, but at, at the same time, we got a lot of support from our university. Our radio station here in Mexico State actually helped us out and they came out and set up microphones and a system so it could be, this, the sound could be broadcast into the, the actual cars, kind of like a drive-in movie theater type of thing. So that was really cool seeing how the university was trying to help us uh, just continue for the sake of, of music and for the sake of the students.